breaking up boring blocks of text, communicating data in a visually striking way. There are many reasons why you would want to add an image to your document in Microsoft Word, but how can you be sure that the images you add to your document in Microsoft Word work with the surrounding text? Text wrapping gives you total control to ensure that your text and the images you add to complement it work in harmony. The basics of text wrapping are simple, but Microsoft Word offers plenty of options, allowing you to tailor how you present things. Let's have a look. There are three steps you'll need to follow here. First, make sure you have the image selected and click the Format tab on the ribbon. This tab will only be visible if you have an image, shape or chart selected. The exact name of the tab will depend on what you're working with. Here, for example, it says Picture Format because I've added an image, but it should always say Format. Next, click Wrap Text on the ribbon to open a drop-down menu. Finally, select the style required from the menu and apply it. As you can see, the text now wraps around the image. And if you click and drag the image to move it around, you can see that the text automatically wraps to match the image position. All you need to do now is pick where to place the image on the page. So what are the text wrapping options in Microsoft Word? The list includes in line with text, square, top and bottom, tight, through, behind text and in front of text. Let's unpack what each of those actually helps you achieve. In line with text is the default setting in Microsoft Word. This means the selected image appears on the same line as nearby text or on a line by itself. If you want to integrate images with surrounding text, you'll need to play around with the text wrapping. Selecting square means the text wraps around the image at right angles, as if the image has a rectangular box around it. Another good option for regular shaped images is top and bottom. If you select this, the image will appear with the text above and below it, but not to the sides. Similar to placing the image on a new line, with the big difference being that top and bottom lets you place an image in the middle of a paragraph. The tight and through wrapping options are great for images with unusual shapes. The tight option is similar to square, but without the rectangular box. So the text wraps around the edges of the image itself, even if they're not straight lines. The through option, meanwhile, is similar to tight, but will also fill any empty gaps in the image. These options are best if you want text to closely follow the edges of an image. To make this work though, you might first have to adjust the wrapping points for the image. To do this, select the image you want to adjust, go to Format, Wrap Text, and select Edit Wrap Points. You can then click and drag the wrap points to place them closer to or further away from the edges of the image, giving you complete control over how text wraps around it. The final wrapping options available are behind text and in front of text. As you can imagine, these do exactly what they say. Your image will either appear behind the text or in front of the text. This might be useful if you want to add a logo or a design to a page in a document, but make sure that the image is lighter than the text, otherwise it can make it very difficult to read. Worth noting, if you want to include a logo or design in every page of a document, it's much quicker to use the watermark option. In front of text doesn't seem like a very useful option. Why would you want to put an image over the top of your text? Well, in any instance where you might need to put an arrow directing to something in your text, you will need to use the in front of text option. It doesn't seem like a common use, but it's worth knowing. There are two more settings in the wrap text menu. I know it seems like we've covered every possibility you might need to use wrapping text for, but what if you need slightly more control? The first option is related to image position. If you go to Format on the ribbon and click Wrap Text, you see two options near the bottom, Move with Text and Fix Position on Page. These control how images move in relation to the text. If you select Move with Text for an image, it will maintain its position relative to the nearby text. If I add an extra line break above this image, for example, the image will move down the page with the text that wraps around it. If you select Fix Position on Page, the image will stay in place while text moves around it, with new text automatically wrapping around the image. This is obviously an important difference. If the image you're using is closely related to the text, you'll likely want to select Move with Text to keep it with the text it relates to. Just beneath these, you'll see the More Layout Options option. Clicking this will open a new window where you can select a wrapping style, but for the square, tight, through, and top and bottom options, you can also select which sides of the image to wrap text around and set for how far the text should be from the image. 
So, while the default text wrapping options are fine in most cases, this option gives you more control if and when you need it. Hopefully, this guide has given you everything you need to utilize text wrapping in Microsoft Word. If you do have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel and check out the Master Microsoft Word playlist where I've attempted to cover all the different facets of utilizing Microsoft Word in your work. Your writing, prick.